Hey everyone, welcome to my unboxing and review of the Aking Mini Projector. My first impressions of this projector was just how many useful things come inside of the package. So obviously we have the user manual, but then you have this lens cleaner right here that you can use to clean the lens periodically so it doesn't get any dust on it, smears or anything like that. So that's gonna keep the lens lasting for a long time. And then we have the projector itself, which looks like this. So right off the bat, I was surprised with how tiny this thing really is. It is a mini projector. You'll notice that it just easily fits in my hands and they also cover up the lens here to keep it nice and safe, not getting scratched through delivery. But overall, there's quite a few different functions with this mini projector. I've been testing it out for the past couple of days and I do like some of the functions that come with this. One of those is going to be all the different ports on the side and all the different options that you have to plug in. So we have a VGA cord, USB, HD, then we have something for a micro SD, then we have an AV and a headphone jack if you wanna to listen to headphones, or you could even plug in a speaker to this mini projector. Now it also comes with a variety of different cords, including a remote control, so that you can easily get to the menu or the different source options, as well as select the different options using the keypad. Then you can turn the volume up and down or mute it using this remote. Now, one thing I will say about this projector is that the volume isn't very loud. So if you really wanna hear this, I would recommend setting up a speaker system by using the headphone jack here on the side. That's going to allow this thing to get a lot louder and it's just gonna be a better video production. You also have the power cord right here. Then we have additional cords that you can use on your different devices that you can plug in to this Aukeen mini projector. Finally, we have an HDMI cord. That's gonna be great, and you're gonna use this for most of the options of plugging in the different media devices. So for me, I've been using my phone with this, and I had the HDMI cord plugged in with a phone adapter. And when I had my phone plugged in, I was pretty surprised with the quality of this mini projector. I was projecting it on my wall and I could see it with the lights on just fine and all the lettering was really crisp. And then when I turned the lights off, it was even brighter. So I do recommend using this without the lights on. You're gonna have a better experience, but still with the lights on, you could see everything just fine. Now to enlarge the screen and the display, what you'd have to do is just pull this back away from the wall and that's going to allow you to have a bigger picture. To focus it, you actually just turn this dial right here and that's going to focus the picture. So if you're too far away and you need to focus it, you can do that. Or if you're too close, you can focus it as well. There is a minimum distance that you have to be away from the wall. I found that out and once I hit that distance, I really did get a clear picture. Then you have the keystone here, which changes the angle of the screen. So if it looks a little bit off, maybe the angle is a little slanted, then you can use this keystone right here to fix the angling of the picture. And then lastly, you have all these different buttons here on the side. This is going to control your source. This is gonna be your menu where you can select all kinds of different options, including the different sources that you can plug into this thing. Then you have the arrows and the okay button. You have the back button and the power button right here, which turns it on and off. Okay, so now we just plugged it in. I'm gonna hit the power button and let you hear the sound coming from this so you can tell how loud this projector really is. And as you can see, it plays music right off the bat when it turns on. So here is the sound of the fan. It's not really that loud in my opinion. And if you turn the volume all the way up, you're still gonna be able to hear the movie production even though the fan is continuing to spin. Overall, I was really impressed with the quality of this mini projector. Because it is such a small size, I was really impressed with the picture quality and the brightness because getting something that bright from something so small is really impressive to me. So overall, I would recommend this as a small projector, maybe as even a portable travel projector, or if you have a dark room, it's gonna work just fine for playing movies on the wall, especially if your wall is white. And because it has options to plug a USB in and then you can play media right off that USB, I really do like that. It has a lot of different ports on the side, allowing tons of versatility and options when it comes to viewing media on this device. So in conclusion, I do recommend the Aukeen Video Projector. It is powerful for its size. Thank you so much for watching my video review and I hope that you have enjoyed it.